this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I want to discuss the effect on GZ curve of internal shift of weight. The internal shifting that is vertical or horizontal without adding any weight or without discharging any weight from the ship. What happens to the GZ curve when we just shift the weights internally? So let us look at that. Now as I have discussed in my earlier videos that uh, GZ curve is formed uh, with the help of Kn and Kg fluid. Kn minus Kg sin theta is plotted for different angles of heel. That is what is GZ curve or curve of static stability. Now what I want to do with you is what is the effect of transverse shift? First let us look at the diagram like this is a line from your page and here is a ship which is inclined This is the rectangular uh, profile of the ship. This is the initial water level. This is the original vertical line from center of buoyancy. Now, with the centroid of these buoyancy wedges shifting, B shifts to B1 parallel to small bb1. And from B1, when I draw a line vertically, upwards perpendicular to the final water line you know somewhere here where center of gravity of the ship is I get the writing lever GZ so this is the diagram for the heel whereby I can uh, get a writing lever for a certain angle of heel now what happens when I shift a weight transversely suppose there is a weight on the deck which is shifted transversely to this position G will shift to a new position G1 and G G1 is actually parallel to the shift on the deck. So G G1 that is a shift of ship's center of gravity uh, is parallel to the shift which is assumed to be parallel to the deck. Now the new writing lever therefore would be G1 Z1. G1 Z1 this point is Z1 g1 z1 is the new writing lever now if i uh, show you this particular portion in slight more detail it would be like this you have z here and z1 here if you look at this triangle it's a right angle triangle right angle triangle and if you appreciate this particular angle is the heel this particular angle is heel this colored line here is gg1 and this particular side suppose we call this point p then we can say gp is equal to gg1 cos theta so the reduction in writing lever where the earlier writing lever was gz new writing lever is pz the reduction in the writing lever is GP and GP is nothing but GZ1 cos theta. So to draw a new GZ curve, what we do is at every angle of heel, to find out the correct writing lever, at every angle of heel, what we do is we subtract GZ1 cos theta. And how do you find GZ1 by the way? Suppose this weight is W and this particular distance is D, then GZ1 is equal to W into D upon displacement. So the transverse shift of G or GZH or GZ1 is given by W into D upon displacement. This GZ1 multiplied by cos theta at different angles of heel is subtracted from the writing lever. So we get new writing lever as GZ minus GZ1 cos theta. This is what happens when we shift a weight internally, right? The reduction of writing lever is gz1 cos theta. What happens to the gz curve then? So this is the original gz curve, right? Uh, the y-axis is gz in meters and this is heel in degrees, right? So uh, suppose w into d upon displacement that is gz1, this gz1 value uh, is indicated over here suppose this is gz1 i will draw a cosine curve of gz1 
as you know cosine is maximum at 0 and somewhere here it might be 90 degrees the cosine is 0 at 90 degrees so if I draw a cosine curve it is a sinusoidal curve right with a maximum value at 0 and the value is 0 at 90 degrees so this curve is called g z1 cos theta so if you want to find out if you want to find out what will be the resultant list because of this i have to drop an ordinate here this is say resultant list so this is the 7 degree that is the list and before 7 degrees you may represent the gz values as negative right uh, suppose this side is the starboard side the writing lever values will go on the port side okay this will be the angle of equilibrium a curve can be modified a modified curve can be drawn therefore this way suppose the list is 7 degrees at 7 degrees the curve value the gz value is shown as 0 and over here if the two curves are intersecting say at uh, 78 degrees then the new curve that is a modified curve after shifting of uh, the weight transversely within the ship the new modified curve can be drawn like this so this particular portion under the curve is same as this particular portion this angle of list is same as this angle of list so it is like this particular gz1 cos theta uh, curve if it can be considered like a chord and if i pull the chord hard make it horizontal then what will happen is this suspended curve will sink down and the new curve will appear like this so what we see because of the transverse shift what has happened the ship is listed there is a new equilibrium angle on the listed side or on the sides where the center of gravity has shifted the area overall area under the curve has reduced and you can see that the angle of vanishing stability has also changed this is the new angle of vanishing stability area under the curve is reduced maximum gz value is also reduced so we may say that because of the shift of the weight right the vessel gets inclined on one side and the stability on that side is reduced and that is what is the stability we are interested in because your strength is measured by your weak point you may say that you have extra freeboard on the other side extra stability on the other side but on the listed side the stability is reduced and that is the reason we always uh, find out the new writing lever value by minusing gz1 cos theta it is never added because we find out what is the stability on the inclined side so this is the diagram for the shift of weight internally and this is the diagram for new gz curve and uh, the curve which is drawn this way actually can be directly drawn like this now we will see the effect of vertical shift of weights in the same diagram we can understand the vertical shift here is the initial upright through the center of buoyancy here you have the shift of the buoyancy wedges parallel to the shift of buoyancy wedges there is a shift of center of buoyancy which comes to this new position b1 from b1 if i draw an upright on the new water line it appears like this so this is the original writing lever gz now we will see what happens when we shift a weight vertically upwards suppose there was a weight over here w and we shift it vertically upward to this position right through the distance d then the shift of g vertical that is gzv we can say or gz1 that is equal to w into d upon displacement w is the weight that is shifted d is the distance through which the weight is shifted and gzv is the amount that center of gravity of the ship will shift upwards so this distance through which the center of gravity of the ship shifts up is gz1 the new writing lever is reduced in size so this diagram very clearly shows that if the center of gravity of the ship moves up because of the internal shift of the weight the writing lever would reduce and in case the the weight is shifted downwards then the writing lever will increase 
how much is the increase or how much is the decrease can be given with the help of gz1 sin theta if you see this inner angle if i magnify the diagram if i magnify the diagram this is gz1 okay and if you say this is the right angle triangle this was the original value of uh, gz and this is the new value of gz you can see this is the reduction on writing lever and this is nothing but if you consider this angle as theta this angle is theta right the reduction is gz1 sin theta because opposite upon hypotenuse is equal to sin theta reduction of gz1 sin theta to writing lever for all angles of heel will give you the new modified gz curve okay if we look at the gz curve suppose this is the original gz curve and in this if we want to add a new curve that is gz1 sin theta because we have shifted the weight vertically upwards what happens is in this curve suppose i assume this is 90 degrees you know that sin theta is maximum at 90 degrees so this is gzv that we are talking about this vertical shift is indicated here and when we shift a weight vertically upwards this was the original gz curve and this is the modification caused because of gz1 sin theta curve new gz curve is indicated by this shaded diagram you can see that the range of positive stability has decreased the maximum height of the gz curve has reduced also now this is when the gz curve is reduced because of vertical shift if we shift the weight internally downwards then what can happen is the new curve gz1 sin theta will have to be drawn like this and the new gz curve has increased in size it is increased in size horizontally and vertically as well you see the new writing levers they have increased at different angles of heel you can see the range of positive stability has increased so much so the net result of this is if we are shifting a weight internally right upwards then for different angles of heel the writing lever reduces by an amount called gz1 sin theta and if we shift a weight internally downwards then for different angles of heel the writing lever value increases by the amount gz1 sin theta right alternately what can be done if we don't want to uh, apply this gz1 sin theta what can be done is we have found out the values of kn from the kn curves we don't disturb that kn values will remain like that instead of using the original kg what we do is we find out the new kg because of the shift vertically upwards or downwards and that kg fluid sin theta we subtract from the kn values then also we'll get the same curve right this was because of the transverse and vertical shift of weights internally affecting the writing lever.